So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to check out Helios and its, well I guess, weapon, the Deconstructor. You can get the blueprint for Helios from the corporate slab in your dojo. The blueprint itself will cost you 15,000 credits, and then to build Helios you will have to put an additional 5,000 credits, 10 fuel drone, 300 oxium, 5,000 ferrite, and 1 forma. Now it takes 24 hours to build Helios, however if you don't have any field drone this will take you much longer because one field drone takes 12 hours to build. So even if you don't want to get Helios right now but you maybe want to get him in the future, I would start building field drone right away so you then don't have to wait 5 days just to build a field drone. Now Helios is not the tankiest sentinel, he only has 200 health, 100 shields and 50 armor. The Deconstructor is exclusive to the Helios, so the other Sentinels can't use it, and it's also not a real weapon. Mechanically it's a glaive, so it's using melee and glaive mods, but instead of Helios shooting out little glaives, he hurls parts of himself at the enemies. Now the information you get about the Deconstructor in-game is unfortunately somewhat incomplete. The attack speed is correct of 1.33, there is no critical chance or multiplier, 25% status chance and a 6 round magazine. And yes, even though he is throwing bits of himself at the enemies, he still has to reload for some reason. The impact damage is the tricky part here, because yes, he will do impact damage, but there are three different parts of himself that he can throw at the enemies. And they will always go in this order. The first part will do impact damage, the second part will do slash damage, and the third part will do puncture damage. So it's actually a really bad idea to use impact damage mods, because it will only affect one of the three glaives. Now there are three different precept mods you can get for Helios. The first one is called Targeting Receptor and this will just cause Helios to start attacking the first enemy it sees. The second one is called Investigator and this will allow Helios to use any codex scanners you have equipped in your gear slot to scan enemies and objects to fill up your codex entries. And this doesn't really seem to have any cooldown, so as soon as he sees an enemy that you haven't finished your codex entry for, he will start scanning them. Now he does have a tendency to start attacking that enemy at the same time, but luckily he can still scan enemies couple seconds after they died. And this works for both synthesis scanners and codex scanners, just make sure you have them equipped in your gear slot. Now targeting receptor and investigator will both magically appear in your inventory once you build Helios, but there is a third one you can get from Cephalon Simmeris called Detect Vulnerability. However, this one only becomes useful once you start to fill up your codex entries. Because Detect Vulnerability will cause Helios to create weak spots on enemies that have a completed codex entry. This does not consume a codex charge, nor it requires Investigator to be equipped, and it will simply pick a random enemy every now and then and mark them with a weak spot for 9.5 seconds. And if you hit that weak spot, your damage will be multiplied by 275%, so it's kind of like Banshee's sonar. Now as I've said already, this only really becomes useful once you start to build up your codex entries, but after that it's pretty awesome because it can also land on the enemy's head, so you will get the headshot multiplier and the weak spot multiplier on top of that. Though every now and then the weak spot can be somewhat hard to hit because on Bursas for example, it can create it right behind their riot shields and good luck hitting that. Now for Helios, I'm using a 3 forma build where I've added 2 Ds and a dash. Now before I talk a little bit about the mod setup, I just want to remind you that Sentinels use a priority system for most of their preset mods and it goes from 1 to 10 with 1 having the highest priority and 10 having the lowest. So if you put a preset mod in slot number 1, it's the first thing the Sentinel will try and do and if you put it in slot 10, it's the last thing it will try and do. Assuming of course it is affected by the priority system because some of them like region and vacuum are not. So the first mod I have here is Investigator, so the first thing the Helios will always try to do is find a target that it can scan. If it can't find any, it will move on to Detect Vulnerability, so if there is a target that I have fully scanned, it will create a weak spot on them. Then I have three precept mods that are not affected by the priority, so I have Targeting Receptor, so he will always attack enemies that are within 10 meters of him, he will regenerate when he dies thanks to Prime Regen, and he will also vacuum things at all times. Now Mediray is affected by the priority system and I've deliberately put it into slot number 10 so that he will only use it if there is nothing else to do and he has enough energy to heal me if I'm missing health. And after that I'm using 3 defensive mods, calculated redirection for shields, enhanced vitality for health and metal fiber for armor and this makes him much much tankier so he can survive for longer and finally I'm also using animal instinct to get loot radar and enemy radar. For Deconstructor, I ended up with a 1 forma belt where I've added 1 V. Originally I thought I'm gonna use primed mods, but then I realized it would clash with every single melee weapon that I have, so I decided to use the regular ones and it still clashes with some status weapons. And the mods I'm using are Pressure Point for more damage, Whirlwind which makes the glaives fly much faster, 
Fury, which makes him throw the glaives much faster, and Spoiled Strike, which does slow him down, but it increases the damage by quite a bit. After that, I decided to go with four duo stat mods, so I'm running Voltaic Strike and Virulent Scourge for corrosive damage, and Volcanic Edge with Vicious Frost for blast damage, and this is pretty nice because the glaive does bounce around, so it strips away the enemy armor and it also knocks them down. But you can easily run another combo like Radiation Viral, Gas and Electric and stuff like that. Now Deconstructor overall is a pretty awesome weapon because the high status chance combined with only one damage type makes it into a pretty cool status weapon because if you put on something like Corrosive and Blast there's a pretty high chance it will either strip away the enemy armor or it will knock them down with a blast proc. It can also do a decent amount of damage, as you can see in the background it's just killing level 50 bombards like it's nothing. However there is something wonky going on with the reload mechanic because every now and then he will just stop attacking for up to 10 seconds. And as far as Helios is concerned, well, he's just amazing. I love this Sentinel. He's going to be my default Sentinel going forward. Yes, I will switch to Carrier Prime if I need the ammo mutation for an ammo-hungry weapon, and I will switch to the Helmet Charger if I need a companion that will survive a sortie. But for just everyday play, running missions, doing alerts and stuff like that, Helios all the way. Helios is a godsend for me because I personally find codex scanning incredibly boring. I will do it every now and then, especially if it's for a video, but bloody hell, I am a space ninja, I have a bazillion weapons to choose from, so I'm not going to pick up a pair of binoculars and look at things. I like everything about Helios, yes he could be tankier, he's no carrier prime, but he throws himself to kill things. How metal is that? On top of that, the weak spots are really good, especially if you're running with something like Ignis, which will hit the weak spot 100% of the time. The damage from Deconstructor is solid, and you get a lot of status procs from it as well, and he also looks pretty cool, so I would definitely recommend Helios to absolutely everyone. It's an amazing Sentinel, and man, when you combine Helios with a Helio core, you're gonna fill up your codex really fast. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.